Um, so the Levchin Prize is um, a new prize in cryptography. Actually, it's a prize in real-world cryptography that basically honors major innovations in crypt cryptography that have had a significant impact on the real world. The website for the prize is levchinprize.com, and I encourage all of you to go visit this website uh, to look at uh, previous uh, award winners, and actually even uh, this year's uh, award winners will be up there very shortly, later today, that is. Um, so the prize actually is named after uh, Max Levchin. You might, have, uh, you might recognize the name. Le uh, Max Levchin is uh, um, the founder of PayPal, and he was very interested in creating an award in cryptography. He's uh, been a, um, a, bit, a strong user and advocate for crypto for many years. Uh, and he, was, he approached us about uh, creating a, an award in crypto, and we kind of uh, pointed out that there really um, is a need for an award that recognizes people who contributed significantly to the crypto that actually is being used in the real world. And it was not uh, such an award, and so this was actually a very opportune moment uh, to create that, and that, that is exactly what the Levchin uh, Prize is. Uh, so the award was started in 2016. Um, we give out two awards every year, and the award itself is uh, $10,000 for each, for each winner. And Max Levchin has actually committed to basically funding the award in perpetuity. So it's quite a, a fantastic commitment that Max has made here, and it's what's making it possible for us to give this award now every year, hopefully forever. <laughs> uh, Okay, so that's the, that's the intro for the prize. Uh, the, uh, we've al already given this award twice uh, to very prestigious cryptographers. Uh, so the first award was given uh, in 2016 to uh, Phil Rogaway, that was one award winner, and the other award winners were the uh, MyTLS team. Uh, the award winners uh, were uh, Joan Demain for, of course, the invention of AES and SHA-3, uh, co-invention of AES and, and SHA-3, and to uh, Moxie and Trevor, Trevor's in the audience uh, somewhere here, um, for the invention of the Signal Protocol. So uh, we're very, very pleased to have uh, such prestigious names win the first uh, two awards. Okay, so with that, uh, let's switch over and, uh, this, and um, uh, award the 2018 uh, Levchin Prize. So drum roll, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so there are two prizes. The first prize uh, goes to Hugo Kravchek. Uh, so... So the citation is for the development of real world cryptographic systems with strong security guarantees and proofs. I'd like to say a few more words about Hugo's uh, very impressive work over the years. So Hugo, Hugo Kravchek is a distinguished research staff at uh, the cryptography uh, group in IBM Watson. Uh, Hugo made enormous contributions to the development of real world cryptography and its uh, standardization. Uh, I'm sure you know, all of you know, a lot, much of Hugo's work. I'll just mention a few of the highlights. Uh, Hugo is the co-inventor of HMAC and the HKDF key derivation function, which we heard about later, uh, earlier today. Uh, HMAC, uh, of course, uh, stands for uh, HashMAC, but we all call it HugoMAC. Um, so, uh, same thing for HKDF. Uh, he contributed to the design of IPsec, uh, the Ike protocol, SSL and TLS. He developed the Sigma family of key exchange protocols, tools for searching on encrypted data, password manager schemes, and much, 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 much uh, more. Uh, Hugo is a fellow of the ICR and an IBM fellow. So for his enormous contributions to, crypto to the practice of cryptography, uh, Hugo Kravchik is awarded the 2018 Levchin Prize. And please uh, join me in welcoming and congratulating Hugo for the award. Actually, I forgot the most important thing. So in addition to the, uh, the $10,000 award, which by the way, the check is in the mail, uh, um, the award actually comes with a beautiful trophy. So here uh, is the two-part trophy, Hugo. Um, and this trophy actually celebrates the Jefferson wheel cipher. Uh, it's beautifully machined uh, steel, uh, and it's actually, if you guys recognize this wheel up there, this is what's called the cryptics in Dan Brown's novel. And so, Hugo, if you can figure out the secret key and open it up, you'll get a nice surprise waiting for you inside of the cryptics. <laughs> ten, okay. ten Bitcoin. Ten, yeah, ten Bitcoin. There you go. Okay, Hugo. Uh, please go ahead. 
I, I'm, I'm not uh, used to read the uh, written speeches, but I knew that uh, I would be too nervous to, to say anything in acceptable English. So I will read it. So again, uh, first, thank you to the Real World Crypto uh, Steering Committee for selecting me for this great honor. I am truly grateful for your recognition. And you too deserve acknowledgement for creating this so needed and remarkable conference. Just see what you did. So thank you. Thank you to Max Levchin for this generous award and for celebrating contributions to this increasingly important and exciting field. And I cannot end a round of thanks without recognizing the many colleagues I have collaborated with over the years in IBM, in academia, and throughout the industry. Thanks also to IBM for granting me the freedom to pursue my interest and to choose my priorities. And of course, to my beautiful and supportive family. As I've said many times, uh, I've been very lucky to have lived through the internet revolution with and without quotes, and to have had the opportunity to influence the security of the early standards that became crucial uh, building blocks for the internet. It was quite an extraordinary opportunity that as a theoretician, I could do work that directly and almost immediately impacted the real world. The true beauty of this in my eyes is the essential role that theory plays in building cryptography that can withstand the test of time. Something that was not appreciated at the time, but I think that by now we all learn to recognize the vital need for theory practice interaction when designing sound cryptographic solutions. We are seeing more and more of this in interaction in, this, in the exciting directions the crypto area is taking these days and also reflected in, in the program in this conference. Hopefully, such cooperation will become the norm, especially, well, I have some technical difficulties. <laughs> Hopefully, such cooperation will become the norm, especially now that we have so many challenges and opportunities ahead of us. And indeed, fascinating challenges abound from fixing basic crypto infrastructure, including our reliance on fragile certificate-based authentication and weak password protocols, through the extensive security and privacy risk brought up by the Internet of Things, to the mysteries and possibilities of blockchains and cryptocurrencies. And above all, the urgent need to deploy cryptography for providing a much better balance between privacy and openness, between encrypted data and data utility. Cryptography did wonders in enabling the information society we live in today. The next step is to improve the well-being of individuals in this society we helped create. To achieve these goals, the two communities brought together by this conference need to work closely with each other. It may not always be easy, but it is indispensable. After all, how many times are you given the opportunity to build a better world? Thank you. Beautifully said, thanks Hugo. All right, and as I said, there are, uh, every year there are two awardees. Uh, we often uh, choose a group as a second award, uh, award, uh, awardee. And I'm actually very, very proud and happy that we're able to recognize a group that everyone here is familiar with. Uh, and so the second winner of the uh, Levchin Prize for 2018 is, drum roll. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the second team is actually the OpenSSL team.
And the citation is for dramatic improvements to the code quality of OpenSSL. But let me say a few more, more words about that. Uh, so as you know, OpenSSL is actually the most widely used open source implementation of cryptography and the TLS protocol in general. Um, the project was founded back in 1998 based on a fork of, earlier, of the earlier SSL EAY project written by Eric Young and Tom, uh, Tim Hudson. Uh, the overall project is run by the OpenSSL Management Committee, the OMC. The OMC is mostly made up of volunteers. It's uh, really quite remarkable that the code that so many of us rely on is really being maintained uh, by mostly by volunteers with only three people working full time on the project. Maintaining the library to address security reports and protocol updates is a her Herculean task. Despite operating on a shoestring budget, the OpenSSL team keeps the library up to date and addresses every known vul vulnerability. Uh, before I give the award out, I want to kind of uh, call out the members of the OpenSSL team. Uh, so these are uh, Matt Caswell, Mark Cox, uh, Paul Dale, Victor, uh, du Victor uh, Dukovny, Bernard Edlinger, these are names that uh, many of us recognize and many of them are here, Steve Hansen, Tim Hudson, um, uh, Lutz Janik, uh, Ben Kaduk, Emily Kasper, uh, who also happens to be the general chair for this conference, uh, Ben Lorry, Richard Levit, uh, Steve Marcus, Bodo Moller, Andy Polyakov, Kurt uh, Rox, uh, Rich, uh, Rich Saltz, and uh, Jeff Thurp. Uh, so again, for their enormous volunteer effort to secure a widely used cryptographic library, the OpenSSL team is awarded the 2018 Levchin Prize. So please join me in welcoming the team to uh, receive the prize, and Matt Caswell is gonna uh, receive the prize on behalf of the team. So Matt, can you please come up? So you get the wonderful trophy, which you can also open up, see if you can figure out the secret password for the cryptex, and you'll get a nice surprise when you open it up. Uh, and uh, yeah, please, looking forward to Okay, thank you, Dan. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'd just like to start um, with a round of thanks as well. So first of all, thanks to the selection committee for uh, recognizing the team in this way. And also thanks to uh, Max Levchin for sponsoring this prize. Um, Dan already said a few words about the team, but I'd just like to spend just a little bit longer just talking about uh, who the EpinSSL team are. There are actually really sort of two groups of people within that list of names that were read out there. So there's the, uh, the committers. These are the people that um, maintain the source code, uh, do all the code reviews, prepare the patches and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then we have the management committee. So they make these strategic decisions, um, making financial decisions, running the OpenSSL Foundation. In practice, there's a, a big overlap between those two groups. Membership is drawn from widely different backgrounds. We have all sorts of people on the team. Uh, lots of different experiences, different knowledge, different motivations for working on OpenSSL. There are strong views and sometimes disagreements. But I'm convinced that every team member is dedicated to producing the best product that we can. This prize is uh, a welcome morale boost um, and will be uh, both now and, and uh, a boost for the future too. The project has been going through a significant transformation over the last few years. There's been a, a significant move from a reliance on a handful of hero developers, a uh, move to a focus on um, building a sustainable and active community. Although this nomination names specific individuals, I think we're just really the custodians uh, of, the, uh, of OpenSSL. And really, it's all about the community that makes OpenSSL what it is. I don't really know the selection criteria that were, uh, were used, but I'd like to think that that new community-driven approach that we've been trying to foster over the last few years has started to deliver those improvements, and it's that that was recognized. The benefits of having a community-driven approach are easy to see. Uh, we have an increased pool of people who understand the source code. We have the less reliance on heroes, uh, more transparent review process. There's opportunities now for non-committers to get involved and a path 
into committed status, which brings new blood into the project. Which hopefully means the project more closely uh, reflects the needs of the community. We have more work to do. Uh, we've invested a lot of time and effort in tackling the te technical debt of the past. If you look at the dev versions of today, you'll see a much cleaner uh, and leaner source code than in historic versions. We have an improved focus on security. We have continuous integration, continuous fuzzing, thanks to the OSS Fuzz project, regular static analysis, robust review process, and so on. There are still significant sections of the code, particularly the older modules that need some care and attention and looking after. And documentation isn't quite where we would like it to be. But dealing with these is, issues is an ongoing process. With a newly vitalized and engaged community, uh, it makes it a lot easier to deal with these kind of problems. Our challenge for the future is to continue and take this further. I'd like to see more transparency, uh, build our community even further. Uh, using our collective resources, we can build a better product. I'd like to think that maybe some of the people in this room, if you're not already involved, can become involved in the future. Thank you for listening. Well said, and I'm really thrilled that we're able to recognize uh, all, you know, the work of this huge volunteer team. Uh, all right, so to wrap it up, I just want to remind everyone that uh, we're looking for nominations for the 2019 Levchin Prize. So please go to levchinprize.com. There's a link there to a simple form that you can use to nominate, uh, nominate people. And please, please submit nominations. We're always looking for, um, uh, you know, for people to, to, uh, to, to evaluate for the award and it uh, makes our job, uh, uh, it helps our job tremendously. Um, so with that, uh, let me hand it over to uh, Anya who's gonna say a few words about the lunch. Uh, and, uh, well, and there, thank you. Okay.